What's up guys, it's your boys Wolke back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Mind Junkie. We're about to dive into the scary videos that will give you chills, and there's seven of them. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn, get ready, and get your extra pair of pants, because you might need them. But let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys consider subscribing by hitting that wiper icon down at the bottom right. Hit that bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one, you'll get that little ring notification that's Wokey myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support that all of you guys show on this channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing, and we'll continue to keep growing together. Speaking of growth, check out the link in the description for Mind Junkie himself. Go over there to his channel, watch his old stuff, watch his new stuff. Give him the love that he deserves for putting this together for us to enjoy, get scared, and lose ourselves in terror, and possibly fill our pants. That's why we got an extra pair. It can take a lot of work, a lot of effort for him, and we want to give thanks back to him. So with that being said, let's get into the video, but I want to do a special shout out for those people that have been commenting those hearts, those loves for the channel. Zawoki. You guys are fantastic. We have Stephanie too, which she's been following me for quite a long while. She's one of our top com uh, com commenters. She's a me Zawokian member and she loves the hearts. So make sure you guys give her her love as well. But then we have Curtis Grizzly. Thank you so much for those hearts. I do appreciate it. And then we have Nicole Robinson 3718 as well. Um, give her some love as well. Uh, she, they say they love to watch the reactions, uh, amazing reactions, twin paranormal videos and so forth like that. If you guys want a reaction or not a reaction, sorry, you guys want a shout out like these guys, make sure you guys comment your guys' hearts in the comments besides what you guys thought, if you guys thought it was real fake, fact fiction, whatever have you, but get a shout out on channels of Wokey by doing just that. So with that being said, let's get a video. The spirit. I love his voice. This first ghost video comes from TikTok, uploaded by Abel3E. Abel from West Laco, Texas, posts videos about his life, but nothing to do with the paranormal. Apart from this video, which is CCTV camera footage that his friend sent him. Abel's friend's CCTV camera looks out onto the backyard of his property and covers a wide area, including the fence. Beyond that fence Wait, is an old abandoned there? house, rumored to be haunted by the spirit of a girl. In the early hours of one morning, Abel's friend's CCTV camera captures something which has left the neighborhood baffled. So not to interrupt, but I have CCTV, CCTV cameras all in my home and outside my home as well. It's just a thing that pretty much everybody does nowadays. If you go to a house and you don't see a camera, that's kind of shocking. So, but I'm always scared to see something walking in my house that's not my kids because I might be home alone or something's outside. So, watching these kind of chills me out that someday, one day, I will see this on mine. But if you guys have some scary stuff on your uh, guys' uh, video, send it to these guys. Let them know that, hey, this, I found this scary. Send it to Nuke, Goose Pimples, Mind Junkie, uh, Sir Spook. Send it to somebody. To get it out there for us to enjoy and watch and get scared. So, could be a camera glitch that somebody's standing Caught on camera it. at around 4 a.m. in the morning. A mysterious white figure about the size of a child can be seen walking past the fence between the abandoned property and Abel's friend's backyard. But who is it? Abel, his friend, and That's the creepy, neighborhood though. they live in were left shocked at this footage, believing it to be the spirit of the little girl who is said to haunt the abandoned house opposite Abel's friend's backyard. After uploading this footage to his TikTok page, Abel's viewers agree that it could well be her. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera? Or a little Let girl. No, down below. If Preview. you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe it's free. and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future Go ahead and uploads. Do it, guys. The Unseen. Well, it's now seen, so... 
This video was uploaded back in 2015 to Facebook by Ashy Murphy, who says her house is haunted by a poltergeist. Most of the activity would occur in her kitchen, cupboard doors would open and close on their own, the lampshade would swing, and objects would mysteriously fly off and smash on the floor. Uh. Every time something would happen, Ashy would try and document it using her phone. In this clip, Ashy is relaxing in her kitchen when all of a sudden the lampshade begins to move on its own. Oh. In the broom. Something's going bump in the night in this place. Oh. You don't really see any, like, fishing wire, if that's a possibility. I mean, it can all be edited out, but it's just a traditional thing to have the kitchen all blowing up and stuff with paranormal content, but... Which kind of ruined the... for those that are real, but... The lampshade can be seen rocking side to side. Then, an object on the opposite side of the room moves. A bowl by the sink crashes to the side before more objects take up a mind of their own. This video, which has racked up over 31 million views on Facebook, has left oh. viewers spooked, including many of Ashy's friends who chimed in in the comments. Many believe Ashy is indeed being haunted by a poltergeist and that she should pack up and leave as soon as possible. But what do you think million. is going on here? Is this poltergeist activity caught on camera? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. The watcher behind the glass. I know what you guys think. This next ghost video comes from the Japanese ghost hunting channel, Black Story. Kuro and Tei received a message from one of their followers telling them about an abandoned hospital in Chiba, Japan, where they got a lot of abandoned buildings over there. Ago. The unnamed follower says that she's been to the abandoned hospital before, where she encountered what she believes to be paranormal activity. <coughs> Suspecting the hospital is haunted, Kuro and Tei venture out in the dead of night to see what they could find. For the first part of the video, Video. The pair explore the old building. They hear strange bangs and noises. However, later in the video, Kuro and Tay decide to split up to cover more ground, oh and Kuro ends up capturing this. Again, Japanese ghosts are like on another level of scary and terror. Like normal ghosts are down here. Them are like. <laughs> どうやっててどうしてるだろうどっちだってこれえこっちだったっけえ、これフロバイだこれおおこれ Did you see it? As Kuro glances in one of the rooms of the abandoned hospital, the face of someone or something can be seen it. pressed against the glass window. Kuro doesn't see it, and seconds later when he gets to where the figure should be standing, there's no one there. Black Story's viewers pointed out this mysterious face caught on Kuro's camera, and the ghost hunters were understandably creeped out when they saw it themselves. Viewers speculate that this is a ghost caught on camera, perhaps the spirit of a former patient. But what do you think this could be? It's something. Party don't know what it is. This next entry comes from Facebook, uploaded back in 2010 to the account Ghosts of London. Ghosts Apparently, of London. the person who took this photograph says that while she and her friends were alone having a girls' night in, one of her friends decided to take a photo of her and her friend. I Wanting to capture this. the moment to upload to social media, the girls did not expect to see this. We we'll take a picture of the pizza. In the photo, oh. we can see two of the girls posing for a picture. However, unaware to them, right behind them, a mysterious translucent figure can be seen. A figure, a 
appears to resemble a human, and the uploader says that <coughs> this may even be the spirit of an old man with deep set eyes. No body, other than the three girls were in the house at the time this photo was taken. It doesn't look like a girl. It was only the camera that caught this mysterious figure lurking behind them. So the question is, who is this mysterious transparent it doesn't look like figure Peridolia. lurking behind them? Is it a ghost? Does the girls believe, or something else? Let what me you know think? your thoughts on this one. The Crawler. I don't like things that crawl. This next creepy video was uploaded to the YouTube channel Leviathan almost three years ago. Apparently, while Leviathan's parents were away for vacation, they left him in charge of their farm. His name was Leviathan? During the night, Leviathan was awoken Yo. by chilling sounds coming from the barn. Too scared to look, he ignored them. However, on the following night, while one of his friends was round, the chilling sounds started again. Uh -oh. And this time, with his friend for backup, he decides to go and investigate. This is how you get eaten. Are those bee homes? Those look like bee houses. Sounds like coyotes. I feel like I've seen this. Oh. I feel like I've seen this clip before. But it's definitely creepy. Could be a homeless guy up there. As Leviathan opens the gate, a creepy sound can be heard. Then the gate slams behind them and the creepy sound gets louder. Frozen in fear, Leviathan stands still, hoping to not disturb whatever is lurking inside any further. Then all of a sudden, the head of something quickly pops up and Leviathan and his friend flee for their lives. Several nights later, Leviathan hears the chilling sounds again, this time much closer than before. He heads out into the darkness ever, ever and anybody have gets ever the fright of his life. It sounds like it's dying. doesn't sound healthy what the hell Oh, As I would not. Then makes his way through the dark woods. The creepy sounds can be heard echoing all around him. He shines his flashlight in front of him, and something can clearly be seen for a few seconds before it lets out a horrifying noise. Without a second thought, Leviathan makes a run for it. YouTube viewers were left creeped out by this strange creature caught on camera by Leviathan, with many agreeing with top commenters Toxley Moxley and Sekiji9331 that these creatures creatures are known as crawlers and come from underground caves and mountains. It looks like that thing from the movie uh, Siren. What is it? That thing that they created in the lab or whatever. I think that's what the movie was called. It that's the, It looks naked and it looks creepy and crawly. That's what it looks like. Mines. But what do you think? Did Leviathan capture some sort of creature that lives deep underground? Who knows? I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments section. An explorer's nightmare. This scary video comes from the Estonian urban exploration channel Darkerisk, where he and a group of explorers visit an abandoned building late at night. The video shows the group exploring the abandoned building, innocently documenting the building for their YouTube videos. However, when they make their way to an upper floor of the building, their exploration suddenly turns into a venture they yep. will never forget. That's creepy on the wall right there. Watching this channel, there's a lot of, uh, or just any channel. There's so many abandoned places. 
That looks like somebody's living in there. It's probably somebody's house. What's scarier than ghosts, people? <laughs> As the team make their way through one of the upper floors, they spot a curtain draped over a doorway. Confused, Dark Race peeks inside, and then someone on the opposite side lets out a horrifying scream in the group. Get Probably a squatter. The title of this video is Exploring Abandoned Building Goes Wrong, Scared and Chased by Homeless Man. And YouTube viewers agree. One commenter, Nikki1863, points out the scary thought that imagine if the last room didn't have that curtain. YouTube viewers were left terrified at this clip, with many saying they'd have run away too if they were in this situation. I would have. What would you do? Let me know down in the comments. Crap my pants first and then. Echoes go. of San Haven. The final video for today comes from a channel I was Aww. one of the first to feature, Midwest Ghost Hunter. In the video, I want to get in touch with this man and try to go ghost hunting with him. I know he ghost hunts alone, but this man is in the Minnesota area. I would love to go with him, but I'm hoping to see more of his content uh, eventually in the future. Ian heads out to the infamous San Haven Sanatorium in North Dakota, USA. Built in 1909, San Haven Sanatorium started as a treatment facility for tuberculosis patients, then turned into a mental asylum wow. until it was closed in the 1980s. It is said that thousands of patients passed away at San Haven during its operation, and many reports of apparitions seen in the windows, the sounds of phantom footsteps, screams and voices, along with sightings of mysterious mysterious shadowy figures have been well documented. Many who venture inside San Haven Sanatorium have reported feelings of being watched or experienced an overwhelming sense of sadness or dread. Ian makes his way through the sanatorium in the pitch black, armed only with his night vision camera alone, or so he thought. What's that sound? Sounds like heels. Okay, those were footsteps. It does, yeah, it sounds like footsteps. Oh, Damn, these stairs. The sounds of footsteps can be heard walking upstairs, creeped out, but wanting to document everything he can find. Ian rushes upstairs, but doesn't find anyone. Ian continues his investigation, hoping to capture as much evidence as he can get. Hey, uh... Let's just blame it on the wind. Just. We'll okay. just say it's the wind. As creepy as that was, I did feel a gust of okay, wind. Okay, so it's the gust happened, of wind. And I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Mm. See, look at that. See? Vacuum pressure. Holy shit. <laughs> that's what we're hoping. Still creepy as hell. A door creepily opens right in front of Ian, but he says he's pretty sure it was just the wind. That's he continues on, exploring the old abandoned asylum, and a short while later, he ends up capturing this. Excuse me. Hello? What the hell is that? that? It's like some white light. 
Dude, I think I just saw something. It's like a... Oh, excuse me, guys. Could you appear like that again? It was like coming out the camera and then stopped and then retreated. Oh my god, dude, it is cold over here. Oh, oh my god, it just went into that room! Are you playing peekaboo? Dude, it just flew into here. What the? See, I necessarily myself don't believe in orbs being like ghosts. It could be energy, but I don't oh, feel like that's dude. ghosts. That was crazy. I just saw you. Did you just go into this room? I need to go in there now. What'd that sound like? Dude, it literally sounded like a woman talking in here. Dude, that was so crazy. I heard that with my own ears. Ma'am? Did you speak again? I think I just heard you. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Okay, you really spooked me there. I did not expect that. Did you just knock on a wall? Could you knock out it again? She is communicating with me right now. Look An orb nice. appears right in front of him and disappears down the corridor. Ian sees it and asks it to reappear again, but nothing happens. As he moves forward, Ian feels the air get colder, then out of nowhere, Oops. an orb appears directly in front of him and floats into a room. Keen to get to the bottom of whatever is haunting the asylum, Ian presses on. Hello? Oh my god. There's like a... Ah. Oh god. Dude. My dude looks genuinely scared. Okay, from all here. Hello? Stop shaking the camera, my dude. Cry for help. Oh, God. I you can hear it. Ian hears what sounds like screaming, saying the words, help me. He rushes down the hallway to see what could have made that sound, but he finds no one. Whoever, or whatever it was, has gone quiet. Ian makes his way through the abandoned asylum, where he decides to take out his camera and snap some pictures, and what he captures sent shivers down his spine. What did he get? I, I might try to take pictures down this hallway. A lot of people say they see shadow figures. Basically in all areas of this place. I'm hoping to catch one in a photo. Looked like there was something over here. If there's anybody down. What is that? This hallway. Could you appear for me? What the? 
cool is that? <clears throat> Say what? It sounded like a breath. Was that you? Okay, I'm hearing noises all around me right now. I think you need to go, my dude. Whoa, See, I look think at I've this. got something on here. Dude, that was like a figure. That's a bit creepy. Oh my god, and it's now gone. Now it's gone. Dude, I just caught something. It was by that window. Holy shit. Dude, that was crazy. I just caught like a photo. What do you think it is? Holy crap. Are you standing by this window? Holy crap, that was so freaking cool. Could you appear again? <gasps> Whoa, dude! I just got that in the freaking what camera. What was that? Like flash for him. Holy crap. Caught on camera by Midwest Ghost Hunter. A mysterious white misty figure can be seen standing by one of the windows of the abandoned asylum. And then, moments later, a white mist appears before disappearing into thin air. Right? Where the white misty figure was seen. Ian's viewers were on the edge of their seats throughout his investigation at the abandoned San Haven Sanatorium, with many agreeing with Ian that he caught real paranormal activity on camera. The title of this video is Terrifying Paranormal Activity at the Sanatorium of Death. But what's your verdict? Does it live up to its name? Did Ian capture paranormal activity at the infamous San Haven Sanatorium? You tell me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, I make am. sure you check you out are. either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. It's free to do. See you next time. So that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed both of our videos, make sure you guys go over to his video and my video. Hit the like button because that lets us know that you guys enjoy our content and it helps us out let other people know that this content is good, great as well. Subscribing is free to do. Why not subscribe? It's free. It's easy. And there's tons to enjoy. And don't forget to comment those hearts and what you guys thought was real fake, fact fiction, whatever have you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.